So now the, uh, the drywall and the paint has been installed in this uh, project, we're going to uh, complete the trim out of the enclosure. So we'll take this, uh, this paint shield off. It's no longer needed, you can get rid of that. And that has kept uh, the mud and paint and drywall off of your cables. And you can see everything is here, still prepared and ready to go. We're gonna be installing this kit. This is the uh, 47605 ACS. It includes a surge protected outlet and in the electrical box. Everything you need is inside here to put power in this enclosure. Our screw kit, there's the black screws are to secure the box, the electrical box to the enclosure. And then there's some silver screws that connect the outlet to the box. And then there's some trim screws in here to put the decor trim on. So don't lose those and don't let them fall into the wall cavity. The instruction sheet walks you through everything. These little caps here hold the wall plate on. By getting one of them off, you'll be able to get the pieces apart. All right, we're gonna install first the electrical box into the bottom of the enclosure and bring this AC cabling up through the knockout. So we'll open up this knockout here Here's the bottom one. Always install a clamp to secure the cable. You wanna bring the cable in from the bottom, it makes it easier to install. And you can put the, uh, the screws towards one side so you can get access to them. Once you tighten it up, you'll be able to drop it back in. This will protect the uh, cable from chafe from the knockout. Bring the cable up and through. We'll just kinda of drop this in place. And now we'll terminate our AC cabling. Cut off about three to four inches of the outer jacket. You can get rid of the paper that's in there. That'll expose the hot, which is the black one, neutral, which is the white one, and this is this bare copper is the ground. The electrical outlet has brass screws. That's the hot side, and it's labeled hot. And this is the white screws, the silver ones. Those are for the neutral side. It's labeled white wire here. And then the ground is up on top. The easiest is to do the ground first. So to do the ground, we'll put a small hook in the cable to go around the screw. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and uh, strip the cable. Strip out a half inch. There is a strip guide on the back, which I'll use to check. So after you strip this out, you can check to make sure that, you're, that it's long enough using this little strip guide right here. And that's just right, so is that one. It's important that these are not too long because they'll leave exposed to copper. And if they're too short, they may not make enough contact, which would be a problem. So we'll go ahead and terminate the ground first. The ground, the hook, the idea of the hook is to get it so that you get good contact all the way around the, the, the screw. And as you tighten, if you put it clockwise around the screw, as you tighten the screw, it will pull the copper into the connection. As opposed to going the other way, counterclockwise, when you tighten the screw, it tends to push the copper out. So that's a good connection there. For these, there's these holes right here. You don't have to go through the loop. You can use either set of, of holes. I'm gonna stick everything on one side. So we're gonna put the new the hot wire here and tighten it up. and put the neutral wire here, tighten it up. Give it a good tug to make sure it's in there tight. We'll get this trim plate off of here to get it out of the way. Now we can go ahead and do our assembly. The, uh, the way to keep this from being too bunched up in there, drop the box inside to make sure you've got it, that it's gonna fit properly, then tighten the clamp. Now the idea here is that in the future, you'll be able to remove um, this, this entire assembly if there's ever any service required. So you don't need a, a lot of slack inside of this enclosure, this little, uh, this little box. There frankly isn't a lot of room in there for slack storage. 
but tighten down your clamp and that will keep the uh, stress off of the electrical, uh, the electrical outlet. And uh, if, any, if anything does get pulled on, this will keep it snug. So we'll drop it in here and leave enough slack so we can move the outlet out of the way because we're gonna have to drive these screws in next. Okay, so getting a Phillips screwdriver out, we'll use the black screws. Again, be careful with the screws so they don't fall down inside the, inside the wall cavity. These four screws line up with the four holes in the, in the enclosure. So just drive them right in. These are self-tapping screws. All right. Finally, we'll use these silver screws. All right, so now we'll secure the outlet to the box. It is um, tempting to use a power tool for this. It is not advised. Doing it by hand um, for this type of thing is, uh, is advised because these uh, modern power tools have a tremendous amount of power and you just don't need it. All right, then we'll do our trim plate and that will complete it. These, are, uh, these little screws are painted white for appearance. As a quick tip, if you look closely at these whole, at these products here, the uh, hole has uh, is not quite round. That's because it has little tabs on it, that allow you to push the screw in ahead of time, which can speed up the process. And that does it. So that's the installation of the power module in the bottom of the enclosure.